on. Are we officially underway, Recky? You got a you got a call. I'm calling it. Okay. No, I'm gonna call it. For fuck's sake. It's a go. Episode number ten of the podcast, or podcast, which I like better still. Podcast. Podcast. In what? Helsinki, Beautiful Finland. Helsinki, Finland. With a fucking very special guest. Yep. Today. Bit of a rock star over here. Bit of a rock star, hockey legend. Asa Tekinen. Asa, how you doing? Whoa. Good. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome Thank to you. the yeah. Thank you podcast. Thank you for uh, doing this with us. Fucking Edmonton Oilers dream team. 85 you started, right? Yeah. You know, in the Oilers. Five Stanley Cups. Pretty amazing. So I gotta ask you right out of the gate, what was it like fucking being on the ice with Wayne Gretzky? It was great, and uh, you know it was great to play with him. Same line, '89 when they traded him into Los Angeles, I have to shadow him. Yeah. <laughs> Skating around with him in the, like ballet dancer, <laughs> all nice. the way ice uh, was was uh, that time greatest player in the uh, hockey. And still, nobody even compares in my. In my box. No, definitely some records that'll never ever be broken for sure. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Wayne Gretzky, do you still talk to him? Probably. Yeah, I talked to him after, after, you know, Bullfire quit the hockey now and uh, we're doing uh, different things and uh, yeah. he's still in uh, Olympics. We see Vancouver and uh, he was just in London, what's the soccer game. Oh, so yeah. He's, he's traveled lots of. He hangs out with Wayne Gretzky. That's pretty cool. <laughs> What about the other guys? Like, do you talk to Coffee and Yari Curry and those guys? Well, Yari, I know it because he's the uh, same well, yeah. in the Espo here and uh, right. we're doing it together, everything. But uh, and that one thing is great is, uh, you know, Coffee, I, I see, and you know, we're doing this old timers tours in, uh, in the US, in uh, Russia, and Finland. So he's, he's playing with those two. Oh my God, I gotta get down and see that. Somebody just dropped this off. What is it? I don't know. Oh, beer? I, I bet you he knows. What is it? Oh, yeah, no, it looks like beer. That's a beer. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Golf. It's one sponsor in uh, IFK in Helsinki. Team. All right. Nice. All right. Give her a whirl. I'm actually fucking. completely straight and sober right now for this pot cash, which I'm not real happy about. But. Boy, is this one of the best goddamn cookies I've ever had in my life. It's like a rainbow Chips Ahoy cookie, but for some reason... Finland, delicious. Does anybody want a beer? No. No, we good here. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, it's all right. Not bad, yeah. It is pretty much impossible, or maybe not, just for me, to find weed or hash over here in Finland. So, needless to say, I've been straight for how many days now, Bubs? I think it's been, what? Four or five days since you've been high, Ricky. Quite a fucking difference from uh, Amsterdam when <laughs> we had tears streaming down our fucking faces. That was nuts. Yes, it was. Excuse me. Ricky. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, Snoop Dogg, he, he warned us. He said, Sweden, not a good place to be, you know, smoking and stuff like that. But Finland, it's just, it's tough here. You can't not do a bad it here. Beer. Not right? bad. Right, I, I don't mind yeah. the fact. I don't mind the fact that there's well, no, that's... not weed everywhere over here. No, it's good. I mean, I do like to drink, and there's tons of booze here. The bars are good. There's tons of bars, but it's expensive. So if you come here and want to get drunk, you gotta have a lot of money. That's a tip. That's a travel tip. Oh wow, that's really fucking fascinating, Julian. We got S taken in here. Maybe you could let me ask him more stuff Whoa. about. Ask hockey. Them. Ask them. Today is about hockey. Who was the craziest player on your team? Well, I think it was Dave Semenko. Not the craziest, but toughest. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he was a tough bastard. Yeah, Holy Jesus, you would not want to mess with that guy. No, I used to remember there was a guy in Sunnyvale that always said, yeah, I beat up Dave Semenko. He's full of shit. Oh, I know he's full of shit. He was only, the guy was only about 5'9". You said he beat up Dave Semenko? He used to say that all the time. Who oh, was yeah. that? What's his name? The guy that works down at, the, down at the pizza shop. Walter. Yeah. Walter's an idiot, man. Walter never fought Dave Semenko. There's no way. He couldn't beat up Corey, let alone Dave Semenko. <laughs> What's all this shit that they got for us here? Anything good here? I don't know, Ricky. Well, we got some Helsinki facts here. 
Oh, yeah. So maybe that's what could help us out with some of these because I don't know how the fuck. I mean, your language it. is really difficult. Like, you can look like you, you, you read some French and you're like, okay, I can kind of understand that, but in your language, you have no idea. There's nothing like close to English in it, is there? Well, nope. Th- I like this one here. Yeah. Maybe you know that's a war cry used by the Finnish army during World War II. Do you know what their war cry was? Tultamunile. That's it. Tultamunile. Name it. Yeah. Which roughly, roughly translates to fire at their balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's some dirty business. That would suck. Well, I mean, it would work. It's hard because you know, it was in a war against the Russia, so we have to do something. Yeah. Oh, that would suck. I mean, if you're going to war with somebody and you hear them all over there, don't deny I would not. Fire at the fucking balls. You would be. <laughs> You'd be terrified. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. you want to leave. That's a great fucking. You run. That's a great war cry. Remember you used to scream something like that? Grab their balls, was it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Remember when we used to play ball hockey, you would... No. Grab them by the balls. Spear them in the nuts. Is what oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, spear, spear them in the, in the nuts. nuts. Right, I remember. Now. Wife carrying championships. What's that all about? Yeah, you guys have like a wife carrying championships here every year? Every year in the Finland. You take your wife in the back or you carry her and uh, run in some uh, mile. And if you come in first, you win. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to like run through like like swamps and all kinds of crazy shit, yeah. don't you? And the prize yeah, is the I wife's weight in beer. Your wife's weight in beer. <laughs> well, that'd be a problem. For me. I wonder if they'd swap it out for, like, rum. But the other time you kind of want to be married to someone a little heavier. I guess it would be a lot harder to carry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Recky, what, would you, what do you mean? Would you just marry a great big lady just so you'd win more beer? Well, I guess she'd be harder to carry. It might slow you down, but yeah. The bigger the chick, the more of a buzz on you'd get. Yeah, but Ricky, it'd be, if you have like a, if your wife's like 450 pounds, you're gonna have a lot of beer, but there's okay. no way you're gonna cross the finish line. I wasn't fucking You're not gonna drag your wife through a swamp. Pounds. I was thinking, you know, maybe buck 40, buck 50 instead of 95. 450 pounds. <laughs> that's a big lady. That's a big mom. That's a big lady. It's a lot of beer, though. I wonder how many kegs that would be. She's playing NFL. Yeah. <laughs> like a linebacker. Yeah. Linebackers in the NFL aren't that big. <laughs> that's a lot of beer, though. Ricky, are you sure there's no weed over here? Because those cookies, I ate something's. Well, give me one of them. Something's kicking in. Jesus, I'll take anything right Those now. Those cookies? What's this shit? Think there's weed Will in this. Will this give me a buzz on? Yes, that's whiskey. J-Lo Vina. What the fuck He's is this? J-Lo. That's what he can't. He doesn't even know English, let alone. Yellow Vina. Yellow Vina. Yellow Vina. It's like Halloween. Yellow Vina. The J is silent. Cracker open. That's Ricky. good. All right, we'll give her a whirl. What's this here? This here's a, like a vodka. That's what the cost can go to. All right. It smells like whiskey or scotch. Yeah, that's uh, between there. This is not. Okay, what's this? The Sami people, or the, however you say S A M I, of Northern Sami. Sami. Sami people have a unit of measurement called the Poronkusima. Poronkusima. Ah, Poronkusima. Poronkusima. Yes. It was close, wasn't it? The distance a reindeer can walk before needing to stop and take a piss, as they can't do it at the same time. They, they can't, can't piss what? and walk at the same time. Nope. Man. So there's a distance of measurement they use where how far a reindeer can walk before he has to piss. It says it's about six miles. Six miles. <laughs> so they don't. But the good thing though, every six miles, or I don't if you really had to take a leak and you're like, oh man, I'm never going to hold it. You just got to walk. You can't yep. piss while I'm walking. Well, until you got to piss so bad that you can't walk, then what happens? You piss yourself. And you piss yourself. Did you ever piss yourself, Essa? Oh, yeah, I did. You pissed yourself. <laughs> Who had? What? When's the last time you remember pissing yourself? You told us a story about about uh, Gerald Ford. President yeah. Ford. That's around thirty years ago. That was one of the times. <laughs> one of the times. Yeah. Can you tell us that story? Well, that was uh, when I was working. Uh, 85 in Palm Springs playing golf 
I have to shoot shy uh, President Ford, and uh, I think about it, he was a car dealership. <laughs> you thought he was the president of the Ford, Ford Motor Company. Motor company and and uh, shoe shine means to go to put put the ketchup in the shoe. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and I have to go under the table, and uh, there was ketchup, and I took the ketchup in my hand, and uh, suddenly I know that I heard a click click gun in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Service pulled guns on you. Geek, Secret Service pulled me out in a under table and say, "Keep it your head down." And I put, took my ass and uh, my neck, and uh, here we going in a small room, sitting there, and they're coming piss my pants. <laughs> I was two hours there waiting for a. Uh, oh man! What's going on? And uh, then our cleanser, president and coach come and say, "Welcome to team, Mr. <laughs> Tikan." And, and, then we go in back in the dining room and uh, there is everybody, whole team, standing ovation and saying welcome to team. And I go to eat my steak, cold steak, two cold hours. Steak. <laughs> Did you get a chance to like change your pants? Or you nope. Just, no, I go to man. straight ahead sitting in my See, chair. And <laughs> that's a team player right there. That was unbelievable. So that was your initiation onto the team. They did something where you almost got shot by the Secret Service. Yeah, that was welcome to USA. And <laughs> <laughs> NHL. Oh, man. You can't really do stuff like that anymore, I don't think. You can't no, force man. people to. No. This is not bad, actually. No, I know. I should get our buddy Weck to fucking start serving this at the Elmo Combo. What is it? Oh, that? Maybe he will. Elmo Combo. Maybe he will. Have you ever been to a bar called, uh, it's named Elmo Combo? It's in, it's in Toronto? Toronto. No. No? Okay. Well, it used to be like a hot spot like years ago, and this guy we know is fixing it up. So, I don't know. Maybe You're going we'll to go Toronto next week, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. When you're there, maybe no, next month. Or next month. I go in next month then. Yeah, 26 months. Month. Maybe we'll come up. Lots maybe of good we'll live music. Take you to the Elma Combo. Excellent. It's the place you ever hear about Margaret Trudeau. She got together with Mick Jagger. Okay. It was supposed to happen there at the uh, Elma Combo. No way. Yeah. That's a bit of history for you. Canadian history. Oh, I'm in a rookie Progressive. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's mother used to hawk out front of it too. She was a hawker out front of the Alma Oh, she didn't. <laughs> Bob, that was very nice. <laughs> I don't even know my mother. So what's the deal on this bad, bad boy, this naked kid that's pissing? Yeah, the what is you? There's a statue. Did you ever see the one down by the, the water there? The big alien looking dude that's, you know, he's pissing. Yeah. And you can like run into the piss if you want and play in the piss. It's it's kind of a weird statue. Why? That's a great shower place. Okay, it's a good place <laughs> to shower. If you're homeless and you need to take a bath, go to the bad boy statue by the waterfront. It's by this little hot yeah. dog stand. It's we not really there, We went there yesterday and Julian kept, you know, going in and opening his mouth and I pretending like he accidentally let it piss in his mouth. No, he didn't. It's pretty weird. It was weird. He's like, oh, I it's just look up the airplane. Oh, I got pissed in the face again. <laughs> you guys are lying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a great statue, right? It is. It it's is a kind of weird. Up weird statue, but yes, it's. Where are you looking there all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I just need to read a little closer than the average person. That's all. But what do you think? It's that lady. Oh, she's going to be then. <laughs> <laughs> How's the beer, pups? Good? I think it's pretty good. What's it? Half cough. Like Paul Coffee. Yeah. Cough, they used to call him, didn't you? Yeah, pizza cough. face. Pizza face. Pizza face. Pizza face. <laughs> <laughs> pizza face. We met Paul Coffee. Yeah. He has a car dealership now. Yeah. What, what do you got about him? Let's hear a coffee story. Well, a coffee Anything story. crazy yeah. that ever happened to him? No, well, lots of things happened to him. One of the greatest defense ever playing in NHL hockey. Absolutely. He was fast as fuck. Uh, well, he never stopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he Hard to catch him. Exactly. I got to play in a celebrity hockey game with him. Yeah. I was on a line with him and uh, who else was on that? Ross Cortnell. Oh, Ross. Yeah. Ross Cortnell and me and Paul Coffey and first shift. Guess who gets a fucking goal? Coffee sets me up in the slot. Boom. Top corner. Bubbles. That's who. How's the, wasn't Reggie Leach there? He wanted to fight you? He was pissed off at you about something. Reggie, Reggie Leach was? Yeah, he slashed him or something. He wasn't too happy about well, it. Wow, Reggie Leach better fucking watch himself. I'll fight Reggie Leach. 
You think you can take Reggie Leach? Mm, maybe not. All right, so if you if you if you're talking to Reggie, Bubbles wants to fight him. So okay. I don't know if you can. No, say I that. don't. Don't yes, tell see, Reggie. See, Leach, I knew I you'd back out. <laughs> well, you're full of I mean, shit. You know what? That's the second lie you've you've done today. I like trash talk, but not if you know oh, somebody's going to bring Reggie he's Leach. Stop the fucking lying, bro. Reggie Leach probably pound the piss out of me. I think he's coming to the door doorbell next week. Oh, for fuck's sake. sake. There you go. Now I did it. Shot my mouth off. Now I'm going to have to fight Reggie Leach. Are you still playing, Essa? Yeah, I'm doing a little charity games. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm waiting for, uh, you know, it's uh, tournaments coming in uh, all time of World Cup. And uh, start the next month. And uh, it's going to be in the five teams in the... Uh, in a group and it's going to be exciting. You have to be 45 years old and uh, five years off the hockey, so oh, wow. it's excellent. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So you guys maybe sort of good. Hansen brought us on. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of guys come and play too. Yeah, that would be wicked. Oh, be cool. You just tell me when and I'll be there. People call me, like when we play ball hockey in Sunnyvale, everybody refers to me as young Wayne Gretzky. Don't they? Well, I, I, yeah, I, don't I know, guess so. I don't know. Just the way I move, you know, reminds people of Gretzky. Yeah, you're a pretty good skater. Not so good on rollerblades as we found out this week, but I'm pretty good on ice excellent skates. on rollerblades. All right. The young Wayne Gretzky. No comment. Young Wayne Gretzky. That's I don't what they know, call Bums. me. I think I, I haven't heard anybody call you that. Well, I've heard. I think it's just because you're obsessed with them. I've heard hundreds of people. Hundreds? Heard. Hundreds. Bubs, you're so you full That's you lie number three, Bubs. That's not, Julian. If there's if you, if you make it to five lies, I'm gonna boot you right in the nuts. Okay, that's a deal. You gotta stop your fucking lying. Well, Glenn Sather. Glenn Sather said he saw me on the TV, and he said, oh, um, that reminds me of Glenn Sather said it. Yes. Esther, yeah, so you got his number like on speed dial? We can ask him. Yeah. Okay. We'll no. save it. We'll say you lie yeah. one I'm more time. I'm just saying I heard that. I'm not saying he said it. I just well, see, heard a rumor now, that Glenn Sather thought you're just, I... You're full of shit, Buffs. Well... Essa said there's a guy that was on the Oilers, that worked for the Oilers, that looks a lot like you, or looked a lot like you. I forget the name. Who? Joe Moss. Lakin' Diary then. Joe Moss. Oh, yeah. I know who that, that is. 40 years working in uh, Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, he's still there, right? Yep. And what's he do? He's like, he's sticks and... He's doing sticks and cleaning in the dressing room and, uh, you know, washing in the towels, underwears, and still singing all Canada every game. Yeah, he Long sings, game. does he? Belts yeah. out. Wasn't he in a commercial that was, like, on for years, TV commercial? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's I know. Yeah. That's the guy. But he he says, Gretchy. Yeah. yeah, all the time. In the commercial. Oh, yeah, you do look like that guy. I don't. A little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. He's thinking about it. He's said Wayne Gretzky, too. Yeah, he's, I mean, there you go. That's right. Ready to fucking go. Maybe I do look like him. Maybe we're both very cool looking. Did you ever think of that? No. Bob's man, you're on edge yeah, today, fine. man. You're just on, I don't know if you're trying to impress Essa or what, what you're doing, man. You're just, you're kind of being a dick today. Ever since you got out of the sauna with all those dudes this afternoon, you've had a weird edge to you. Well, I don't know. I got fired up in there, I guess. What's with all the saunas over here, Essa? Oh, it's great. Sauna is great. There's 1.5 million saunas, <clears throat> which is like one for every three people. Yeah. That's a lot of saunas. Yes. Well, everybody lo loves to go to sauna, summertime, wintertime. Like, we have uh, lots of lakes. Lots Everyone of lakes? Lots oh, yeah. Of lakes. And uh, we go to swimming almost every summer, every time. And still, in the wintertime, mm -hmm. we're doing holes in the ice and go to swim. Holy shit. Really? It's great. It's great wake oh, up. Geez, and the saunas so. are great. We go to with the ladies together, sauna, you know. Yes, I nice. uh, love to get in a sauna with the ladies. But Bubbles, you were saying that it was all men in one sauna and all women in another sauna. Or were you just making that up? Well, that's the way they made me do it. Huh. I couldn't get in the ladies sauna? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I didn't know I had to get I in. think that sauna is called a brothel. <laughs> that's what that kind of sauna is, Bubs. I wasn't at a brothel. You were at a brothel. Yeah, I was looking for your mom. Oh, yeah, you want to start that, do well, you? Well, you already started with my mom. You want to start that, well, do I you? I've never met before in my life. Thank you for that, Bubs. Well, 
People in Helsinki walk their cats in the park on leashes. No oh. free range kitties allowed and hold cat agility competitions. Well, there is lots of dogs and cats in the city, so they have a parks in the dogs and cats, so they look at You have to walk there. your cat on a leash? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fucked up. Kitty leash. Like it's tigers cool. and lions or like regular house cats? Ricky, what do you think? House cats, Ricky, Ricky, did you see anybody in the park walking a fucking lion? Oh, I don't know if they have lions or tigers over here. Yeah, we have in a zoo. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have those. We have zoos. So I wonder what this whole cat agility competition thing is. Like, what, what would that be? That'd be like a super cat cat show. I wonder if there's yeah. any, uh, any money in that. Nope. There's no money? Okay. <laughs> Fuck that, then. We're not doing it, bubs. Well, we could. Well, if, if we're not going to win money. I noticed it gets dark a lot earlier over here, too, so you guys must have a different sun than we have, because ours stays up even today till about 8 o'clock at night. What do you mean, a different sun? Well... People are saying that it stays lighter out longer in the summer, almost 24 hours a day, and then not so much in the winter. It's darker more, so it's definitely not the same sun we have. Ricky, there's only one fucking sun. Well, how can it work? How can it work different lights in different places? Oh my God, Ricky! Ricky, Jesus, Jesus Murphy, it's just the way the Earth, the angle of the Earth, and the way it's going around the sun. What? You think Finland has its own sun? I don't fucking know. It's a different part of the world. It could. No, we can't, Ricky. Do they have moons here? They have a moon, the same fucking one we have. The moon, it's called. All right, well. All right, here's the question. You learn Nessa. something new every day, don't you? Was there anybody on your team that you played hockey with that was as stupid as Ricky? Because, I mean, fuck you, dude. You've got to hang out with them every day. Was there a guy that they used to play with that was just like. Not all there. No, well, I think about it sometimes. Marty McSorley. McSorley, <laughs> well, say. yeah. He's, Marty McSorley. I heard he's Great done a lot man, of crazy but, shit. Oh, yeah. I have to wait. Uh, sleeping in a window open in the 40 below. Oh, yeah, it's try unbelievable. Sleep, try sleeping in the car with no door in the winter. Yeah. So, that's true. So there are a lot alike. Yeah, Ricky McSorley and Marty might get McSorley. along just fine. There are a lot alike. And you were roommates with him for a while? Yeah, I was. So long he played in Oilers. I was roomie with him and uh, was great man. He was mm -hmm. taking care, you know, watching my back and mm -hmm. watching Gretzky's back. And then Gretzky was straight at 89 to Los Angeles. He's mm -hmm. going after there, and he's made a movie star, a big movie oh, star cool. there. Yeah, <laughs> he was in um, Con Air. Con Air. Yeah, Con Air. With uh, Nick Cage. Con Air. Marty McSorley was in that. Was he? I was supposed to be in it. They oh, were course. trying to get me in it, but I couldn't work out the scheduling. Here comes another lie. What did you say? Did you just lie again, Bob? Yep. I missed he that. He said he was supposed to be in Con Air and they were trying to get on. Yeah. Okay. I think it was Con Air, wasn't it? Remember when the Hollywood fellas were like, hey, we want you in our movie? No, I don't remember any of that. I don't think no. it ever happened. No, Bubs, that's lie number up. four. You've got one more. One more and then what? You're going to get a boot right to the nuts. Oh, you're not booting me in the nuts. Well, lie again. This vodka's actually pretty tasty. Who's the, who's the dirtiest player you ever played against? Um, that's a good question. I know there's probably uh, lots of them. But. Oh, there's Claude Lemieux, I think. Oh, yeah, that Claude bastard. Claude Lemieux. Oh, oh, really? really? He, he was a son of a bitch. He, okay. he, tried to, he tried to be like me a little bit, but <laughs> I was Mr. Mr. Nice Guy beside him. <laughs> <laughs> so he they called dirty. Gretzky. I remember they called Gretzky the great one, and they called you the great one, spelled G-R-A-T-E, because yeah. you used to grate on people's nerves. No, 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 not me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But that game is different, okay, guys? Yeah, yeah. It's been nice to me. Yeah. No, I was I asshole. Love <laughs> I was I love asshole. That. I love you. I love you. I'm serious, I was assholey nice, but outside I'm a nice guy. Okay? No, I, was, you like, you guy. Yeah. No. I played like you. I, I like to play a little rough and dirty. It's oh, good. Ricky's the dirtiest player on the ice you could ever possibly imagine. Oh, yeah, Ricky He's just opens dirty. his spears, people. Doesn't give a fuck. He just. Mm. But you have to do everything. What you can do, win the game. That's, that's right. right. So long did referee let you play, hey, yeah. you play. That's right. Everybody just remembers the fucking final score. It's true. And if you won, you know, five Stanley Cups, obviously you're doing something right. And how many fights you got in? What? what? Fights. Oh, okay. I have to take care, start. 85 couple times have to fight, but the biggest thing was, when I was 15, 
I was in Canada, Regina. Yeah. You guys yeah. in Canada, you know oh, where yeah, is yeah, Regina. Yeah. yeah. I play Regina pads. I learned to play hockey there. Tough. Bill Lafords was coach. Little crazy. Mm -hmm. I was youngest player in the Western Hockey League. I learned to fight a little bit, mm -hmm. play against Wendell Clark, oh, yeah, who nice. kicked oh, my yeah. ass first time I was 15, he was 17, he kicked my ass and I learned. Yeah, I don't doubt you learned something oh, there. Wendell Clark story. was a... Wendell was Clark, fucking... He's a good little scrap. For him, so he used to tangle a fair bit. Yeah, uh, yeah they do it a couple times, but uh, I learned it then. Uh, then we play, when they play Toronto, I play in Edmonton, and he look at me, oh, are you that little boy who I beat up? I say, yes, try now. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Man, he should have went out and slashed his tires after the game. That would have been awesome. <laughs> That's what Ricky would do. Oh, yeah, Ricky. He's done yeah. that before. This is pretty good, boys. Yeah, I had this a, is good, too. I had a shot of something last night, though, that was fucking... Terrible. Oh, that licorice shit that's salted. What's it called? Sal... Salmiaki. Salmiaki. Look, oh. Rich. Same as there. Do you, yeah, but that's... You like that stuff? Salmiaki. Yeah, salmiaki is good. Don't take 20, just a couple. Yeah, I just had one and it was just like... Is there some salmiaki over there? I yeah. like I've never tried it. Here. That's salmiaki. No, Not that's really. just that's licorice. Right okay, there. With, not that this one. That's not the liquor. Yeah, that but I this, had. If the liquor tastes like that one there is called the pill salamiaki. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what how they do it. That salamiaki. Julian, you got to have some salamiaki later because I want to watch throw up. Salamiaki <laughs> liquor. I <That> try. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a little nice little pink candy in here too. What salamiaki is, is not my thing. No. We've got salmiaki. You know what it tastes like? Those little goodies that have the, the candy coating around them. Yeah, well, yeah. that's not what the liquor tastes like, believe me. No. <laughs> the liquor is fucking just like drinking gasoline, in my opinion. But. Well, I'll have to try it out, Bubs. Yeah. You're liking the vodka, though. Yeah, it's kind of making me want to go to the bar. Yeah, I hear you. These are going down pretty good. You know what, boys? I just realized something. Why? You guys have like beer down there, vodka. Yep. Some more booze. Here, do you want a beer? I've got some a bowl of chips, some salmiaki, <laughs> and half a drink. So what do want you want? Beer. Do you want whiskey or vodka or beer? Here, I don't want the beer, man. Give me the uh, whiskey. Just a second. I gotta talk no about. Rum, I'll drink fucking whiskey. Oh, I'm keeping the vodka. I'll just drink that straight. Coming in hot. <laughs> Nice grab. Nice catch. Thank you. Thank God I did. If I had missed that in front of us, I would have been. I would have looked like a serious fucking dick. Yeah. Would have felt bad. It been. doesn't matter that you caught it. You still look like a serious dick in front of him. Who was the biggest dick on your team? Or I guess you probably can't say. You might. No. Up. Yeah. <laughs> did you say who had the biggest dick? No. But now you just asked that question. No, I didn't. I am asking you if that's what you asked. I said who was the biggest dick, like Julian. Oh. Not who had the biggest dick like Julian, because he doesn't. Well, you know what? How do you know? That's what I've been told by a couple of the girls in the trailer park. Oh, what are you talking about, Ricky? You're so full of shit. <laughs> Sarah said she saw your bird. No, she didn't. Yeah, Sarah did say she saw your bird. Sarah did not see my bird, man. That's what she said. She described it as thick, but not long. Yeah. She said it was like a tuna can. Like, boys. She said it was like we a gotta can stop of tuna. fucking talking about this shit. <laughs> All right? We got a special guest here. Like, he doesn't want to hear this shit. Well, I'm just, you know. <laughs> you guys are fucked. Cock like a tuna can, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Would you shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm Start booing you on. on. Me too. God damn it. I wish I had something to smoke. <laughs> Well, should we go to the bar, boys? I think it's time to go to the bar. I want to try this sal salmiaki oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for you to fucking try that. Try Maybe we liquor. should go to the bar, have a drink. Last yeah. night in Helsinki. Yeah, I'll go to the bathroom together and see who does. <laughs> but, um, Ricky, I, what are, like, are you, you're like, what is wrong with you? I just think it's just something we need to settle. Do you, like, stare at everybody? Like, when you go to the bathroom up against the urinal, do you, like, peek down at everybody? No, but Randy does. I right, know Randy does, does but notice I think Randy, Randy does, does as well. Jesus. No, it's one of those fun facts. It'd be good to know. 
What? Why? Rick, you're fucked. It's because I'm straight. It sucks. Okay. What sucks? That he's straight. Yeah. If this was last week. <laughs> oh, straight. Like, not, not drunk. What the fuck did you think I'm in? I don't not know. Bent. I'm blacking out. Oh. Blacking out. Let's go to the fucking bar Let's go and to the drink, bar. shall we? I'm in. All right. Yes, I hope we didn't waste your fucking time. Thanks for yeah. Thanks for coming. Right. Come so we were talking. My pleasure, boys. <laughs> well, it was great to hear your stories. Oh, awesome. Telling some stories there. Yeah, this was pretty awesome. awesome. I'm a huge fucking fan. This is amazing. Sorry, we were talking about birds and everything else, but it was fun. Somehow I gotta I gotta meet. You know I I haven't met Wayne yet. Gotta meet him someday. Gotta meet Meshe, Yari Curry. I met. McSorley and coffee. I've I gotta meet the whole dream team. You necked with McSorley and coffee? No, I met them, I said, oh. Ricky. I met them. I shook hands with them. I went out and so drank some all coffee. One you night. missed the one guy. Who? Yeah. Who am I missing? Grand Fuhrer. Mm. Well, yeah, Grand Fuhrer, obviously. Yeah, the best goalie ever. Best there goalie go. ever. He was unbelievable. Especially I can't believe you forgot him. Yeah. Yeah. He was, you know, it seemed like he was like superhuman. He was. He was lefty. Yeah. He was unbelievable. Grand Fjord. Yeah, until he got banged up. Okay. On that note, yeah. let's go have some salmiaki. Salmiaki, all right. This is over and out from Helsinki, Finland. Awesome. Thanks again, Essa. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Finland. We'll hopefully see Cheers. you again soon. Cheers. Cheers. Just wait. we got to end it with this war cry. How do we say it? Do Tuta Munile, is that it? Oh, Tuta Munile, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tuta, Tuta Munile! Check out the new fucking episodes of the Dragons, and I guess Wex back on. He's supposed to be the best dragon. Julian definitely says he's the sexiest. We'll uh, see the new episodes Rick, and find out. Everybody knows he's lying. He's the one that likes his hair and thinks he has bedroom eyes. Bedroom eyes? Yeah, you said that last time. No, he was talking about Peter Forsberg. Oh, oh. <laughs> When he was okay. talking about bedroom eyes. I, I never said bedroom eyes. Don't the moon alert! Don't the moon alert! Wolf eyes. Cheers. Cheers.